all you wonderful people, welcome to episode 2 of the Castle Manor tutorial series. So last episode we worked on the front facade of the first floor. Today we're going to be working on the rest of this kind of first floor thing. We'll see how far we get, considering it's just going to be replicating what we did in the first episode today. So I've been procrastinating this thing, and I'm going to try to... Uh, I want to do daily up on this, but I also want to do every other day, so it'll give me a chance for you guys to rest, a chance for you guys to um, catch up, build it, get materials. So <clears throat> leave me, let me know in the comments below what you think we should do. Should we do either daily or every other day? I'm, I, I prefer every other day, and we'll have just like easy episodes in between, but it's up to you guys, and you know. So leave me a comment. So let's get started. Um, last episode, we left off doing this, and we are just going to work on this wall. It's going to be very similar. So first things first, let's just place these blocks right here. These stairs facing each other right here. <clears throat> Probably didn't do it last episode. And what you're going to want to do is, um, since we already have one block up elevated, you're going to want to place five blocks. That was one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, high. That's including the bottom block. So six total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. See that? Since we already have one there, we're only going to place five. And you're going to want to just place, um, you know, you're going to place three pillars for each section. See how this is a one by five section? And you can see the three sections right there. The three pillars. You're just going to place them all the way up. <clears throat> and this is going to give us some definition to work off of. And we're just going to go all the way around this entire build and place these pillars. Avoiding these corners and just doing this, it's not going to take too long at all. And this really just speeds everything up because once you know what you're doing, once you have a basis, then it doesn't really matter. Like, you know, you don't have to pay attention. You can just kind of like build it because you already know how to do it. I think I'm going to get cold. I just had to pause and sneeze. Oof. Hmm. I've been um, really busy um, these past couple days with Driver Zed learning to do the little drive around thing that all the little little kids are doing nowadays um <laughs> i was in a class with just a bunch of like 15 year olds i made like you know maybe maybe one friend maybe he's watching right now maybe he knows but um all in all it was kind of a an annoying experience <laughs> so um yeah we now that we've done that we are going to place in front of each pillar yeah, each pillar in front of it is two blocks like so. And we're just going to go all the way around. Um, so I, I'll just show you um, right here. I'll build this front part, and then I'll just do the entire thing. So you place two blocks. Then you place um, three stairs in front of it. You place two upside down stairs. Behind these ones, on the next part of the pillars, you place two sideways logs. And then you place two cobblestone walls in front. Um, I know I'm going fast, but you can just keep watching this little segment. Just want to be clear about it. You're going to place three upside down stairs, and then you're going to place two upside down stairs in between. <clears throat> just like so. And this is the part where you place windows, like so. Then you're going to place on top of these things three cobblestone walls. Like, make sure you have um, these uh, stone bricks, or stone blocks. You're just going to place them above the window. And then you're going to place three upside down stairs on the top layer. And you're going to place three blocks on top of it. Next, what you're going to do is place two upside down stairs. Now you're going to get half slabs and finish this off <clears throat> by placing three half slabs on top, two half slabs underneath. And we're just going to do that all the way around. And I'll maybe just be talking about something whilst I'm doing this because it's very monotonous, not very challenging at all. You, can you guys can just watch me repeatedly do this. It's, um, well, that looks good. But um, we're just going to stick with this. It's good to experiment a little bit. <clears throat> so I know a lot of you, um, some of you are going to be new subscribers. Some of you are going to be subscribers that are building this from the channel. Um, either or, welcome to the video. If you're a new subscriber, and uh, and if this is your newest thing, then I hope, I hope, I hope I'm doing a good job. Because this is quite a big build and it's easy for me to get distracted, so I try to stay on track as much as possible. Um, and as you can see, we're just doing the same exact thing that we did beforehand, and we're just going to do it over here. Um, you can get really quick with it too. So I'm just going to get rid of this thing, 
And now those are all like the uh, blocks I'm going to have to place. These are upside down. Place two cobblestone walls. I don't have to, yeah, I don't have to narrate, you know? You guys know what you're doing. So, um, yeah, new subscribers, hello. Very, very glad to have you here. Um, I've recently, I recently, yeah, yeah, let me talk about the schedule for this thing. So this is what I'm calling the mega tutorial series. All, all in all, this isn't like a humongous build, but it is very, um, many parts, many parts to this build. Um, and that, that, that's what's mega about it. You know, you get 10 parts plus six parts, seven parts. So the homestead tutorial was very, um, not, not challenging. It just took a long time. You know what I mean? And um, if you haven't seen that, I, I do suggest you watch it. It's one of my better um, survival house tutorials. Unless you're building this one, then, you know, you should just stick with this one. <clears throat> that one took so long because I was really being, um, it was a very specific build. There wasn't any part of the build that was just, you know, do whatever. And um, with these mega tutorials, I hope to be a bit more talky. I hope to just uh, be a bit more personal with you guys, considering that they are so long. Just watching, you know, me build for a total amount of just like three hours, just talking about what I'm doing. I'm sure that can get monotonous. At times, I will have to switch to when I'm talking about the actual build, which is about to happen right now. <clears throat> so we repeated this process all the way around when we got to this corner. Now there's a corner that needs to be filled in. It's going to be very easy. We're just going to place two blocks, like so. Then you're going to place... No, three blocks. Yeah, three blocks, three blocks. Three blocks up. So one, two, three. One, two. And then place that one block. Then you're going to place two blocks in the, each corner. And you're going to place two regular stairs facing the wall. Not like this. This is a common misconception. I confuse myself. You might find the video that I've actually done that. Um, now we're going to place two stairs. <clears throat> and one block in the corner. I know I, I don't normally do blocks, but... um. Anything else wouldn't look good, like if we just place that, or if we just kind of place that, it'd be, uh, it would be picking a side, and we don't want that. So the block is just as good as it gets. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to do a little trick that we did in the Castle Gate video, one of my earlier tutorials, where we just place two upside down stairs facing each other, kind of like mirroring these bottom ones, two regular stairs on top, and then you place one block, two block, and you're done. I was going to say one or more half block, but I realized that that's not what we want to do. Maybe we do, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you place that half block. Let me go place that half block over here, too. <clears throat> yeah, it's there on the original build. It took us one entire tutorial to build this thing. And it's taken us, you know, just a couple minutes to build this side. As you can see, you know, this is what happens once you start um, getting a groove. You just you just know what you're doing. So, and, and um, it, it's good for me to show this kind of... Um, building style because I'll explain myself in a second. Um, I showed you one way of building it. You know, I showed you the tutorial where I built that, you know, we build this, this block, this block, then this block. And when I'm just building it, you get to see a different thought process, you know, and when I just built this one, I built all the blocks first and then I filled it in. You can see different ways um, you could go about building it. And I think that's really valuable. You know, what, what am I doing first? Why am I doing this first? And, you know, what makes it easier for me? What makes it quicker? Just different processes. Also, if you really wanted to be cool, you could place stuff like that. Um, that's an idea, and it does work for this build. Um, <clears throat> I have no I have no bias against that. It's, it's It looks fine. So right now, um, like, I'll explain what I mean, is I'm placing all the blocks, all the actual blocks, and then I'm going to be placing... Um, yeah, see, I placed all the blocks. Now I'm gonna just, now I'm gonna be placing all the stairs. So this is another way to do it. All the stair blocks that you need. Also, it's getting a bit late, so we're gonna do time set zero, like so, and then we place that. Yeah. So now what we can do is we can start adding more detail blocks, like this one, like the windows, like the crenellations, the battlements that lie right on top. And we'll place those down. And now we have a completed wall. And we're going to get to this corner again. I don't like to cut things because I know people um, like to see just everything, all that little processes, how long it's going to take to build this part. You know, if it took me 22 minutes, how long is it going to take you in survival mode? 
So having me do this and then giving you that two day window does give you a lot of time to collect your materials for you to catch up. And I think that's um, it's a bit more valuable for the people that watch it when it's first uploaded. Of course, it doesn't really matter too much for the person that is, um, you know, watching this in the future. <clears throat> he can work at his own pace decided by him or her. But um, right now for you guys, for my subscribers, I like to make sure that you guys can, um, you know, you, you guys grasp the concepts. Let, let, okay, another um, example to show the um, the corner. I'll explain this one again. So we're going to place two blocks, two more blocks, and then cap it off with one single block, two blocks in each corner. Stairs facing this way, block in the corner, two stairs facing the wall, stair going up, stair on top. And I know that was really fast, but you've already seen an example. That's just me building it as fast as I could. You know, I could build faster, but we're not trying to race through this. We're trying to just have a nice, relaxed video. And I try to provide a little bit of commentary to it, just discussing things. <clears throat> of course, my um, lectures and my uh, just rambles will be reserved for the Let's Builds that are going to be revamped in a few, um, in, a in a couple days. I'm going to be working on that, trying to see if I can create consistent Let's Builds, and then I create tutorials based on those Let's Builds. What I also want to do is maybe instead of Let's Builds, we do um, live streams. <clears throat> I also have been having a huge interest in um, the new thing called Patreon, which is kind of a crowdfunding thing for content creators. And um, I'll, I'll explain it. Actually, I'll explain that more in depth in a different video. This is just a tutorial. But um, it, it's just a new concept, and it, and it really does allow me to have more resources at hand for you know creating content and making new tutorials and just being able to you know keep doing what I love and what you guys love. So we are pretty much done with this and uh, let's make sure we get this last bit. <clears throat> so now what you're gonna wanna do, we are done with all of those walls. We are done, we have a little enclosure right now. So what we can do is we can clear this out. And I've not actually, I, have actually, I haven't actually done the interior of this place yet. I know that we did this part. So what we can do is what you're, what you're gonna have to do <clears throat> is um, pause this video because I'm gonna get a wand out and I'm going to dig two blocks deep. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we need to remove this, all, this entire ground for two blocks. Um, and we're gonna do replace dirt, air, and we're gonna replace grass with air. <clears throat> So we have that. <clears throat> You're gonna wanna break all the dirt blocks underneath this thing up to two blocks down. And then this block that you see here, this layer is gonna be the floor. We're also going to replace that. You can remove that if you wish, but it will help with planning if you leave it and then remove it as um, as you go along. I'm replacing this so you can see what you're gonna have to do. The, you know what what you don't have to do we're gonna be replacing these inner walls anyway but this is all the digging that you're gonna have to do immediately so that you can um, do your stuff <clears throat> um, I could go two ways I could start the foundation for this or I could you know do this part this could be a separate video almost but um if we go inside here you can see that you know we just have a floor mm. oh I got burp Oh, someone broke this. What are you doing? <laughs> Kudos for having people on the server. So we've already dug this out, and I do have a vision for this. But what we could do is we could just kind of cap it off and get to it later. But I think it'd be important that we do this now. Get out. <coughs> Plus, you only have five more minutes anyway. So um, <coughs> we have this entire thing. What we can do now is um, let's just place stone going across the entire thing. So put five blocks in front of each of these little bits. Like so. And um, this we're, we're starting to get into the part where I haven't actually done too much. I've only done the exterior. And we're going to do a little bit of an improv. This is an unavoidable thing that you have where you know it's just showing. We're just going to keep that there. <clears throat> That's perfectly fine. We, we sacrifice a little bit so that we can get a nice little doorway right here. Um, mm, <clears throat> I don't know, I, maybe I should, uh, I should just 
place it. Uh, what does look awful is the half slabs, even though you're trying to get that extra little bit of room. What we can do for now, and I think we'll change it as we go along, is you can fill, after you've done this, um, we will place um, a block in each corner. <clears throat> uh, let's see, like so. Let's make sure. Yeah, so this is basically half slab, half slab. So for each thing, we have at least two. Yep, that's how we're going to do it. And then once you have that, once you've placed the four blocks in each corner, or the one block in each corner, you're just going to fill this entire thing with spruce wood. <coughs> and this is going to change in the future. We are going to um, maybe modify it. We're going to change up the floor. But this will give us um, something to stand on. You know what I mean? It would give us um, just a place to cover up. You don't, you're not always bombarded by the rain. You are safe from mobs. You can now live in the bottom part of this. And while you wait for um, the next video, you're going to be able to dig out the floor. You'll have enough time and you'll have a place to live. You place to get set up. Just start placing chests and things like that. <clears throat> so let's just do this real quick. Once again, I could easily just do the wand. I, the digging was just ridiculous. That's stupid. But I could show you guys just... Um, you know, just just filling in this time slot, filling in you know the the floor, so you have something to look at. Um, because what else we're we gonna do? We're running out of time anyway. Twenty minute episodes. These are a little bit longer. I could do a little bit longer episode, but how much you know do I really want you guys to have to finish before the next episode gets uploaded? You know what I mean? <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, I still got my cough. It's slowly going away. It's a lot less. It's not like all the time. But it still comes up. Um, I do know. I have noticed that with this new microphone that I've gotten, background noise is a lot less. Um, it doesn't really help too much with coughing, but you know, people are doing construction in this house. You know, my dad's working on a bunch of stuff, so <clears throat> uh, we have to deal with that, unfortunately. <clears throat> so we have a little place to live now. And that looks really cute. It's Beady Bro. Hey yo. I'm trying to message John. <coughs> Jack, the owner of Block by Block, to see if he can um, get an application going, but we haven't, uh, you know, he hasn't messaged back. <clears throat> I'm going to turn this all the way bright. And what we're going to do is we are going to make a mudroom. Um, let's uh, build all the way to the top right here. <clears throat> like so. And then we're going to go out maybe three blocks like this. And you go up. And this is going to be our throne room down here. You know, you just sit tight. And then the top area is going to be more, um, uh, oh, crack my fingers. I'm so unprofessional. Ah, I just, I just have to do it. My arm hurts. My, my, my hand can crack on command. It's kind of annoying. <clears throat> so we have this, and this is going to be the castle area. And on top is going to be the survival area. So you have a little bit of both. So, um, what we can do is maybe get, uh, this is, I'm doing this, um, on command. We can place, uh, stone. <clears throat> and if we have to, I, I suggest having, like, a silk touch pick because I like to experiment. Um, now, let me experiment with some materials. We're going to use half slabs for inside here. That looks okay. Um, you know, we could also do this. Um, we can do uh, what would look good is um, if we if we here we go. I used to do this all the time, and it, and it's really um, old school survival. You know the whole cobblestone, you know the stone, and then the oak wood. That's like you know that that's like two thousand nine. Like you didn't have other types of wood, so you really had to you know deal with wood types like this, and it doesn't look bad. <clears throat> Lastly, we'll experiment with maybe dark oak or yeah, dark oak planks. That looks really good. The contrast is really high, though. So um, what I suggest is you guys experiment with your own floors, and um, don't and and pick one you like because I you know end of that next episode, end of this episode, I might just switch up what this is gonna look like. You know what I mean? Because I I, I get unhappy really easily with what I'm building. So next, what we're gonna do is uh, let's just break these out, <coughs> and what we'll do is um let's see what what else we can put um it's just turning into a let's build at least for interior let's place a torch real quick let's see what this looks like that doesn't look bad um we're not we're not going for excessive detail we're just going for something that looks good nice color palettes we could also um 
keep up with what we have on top. <coughs> and I think that's a good look for it. <coughs> and we have a little something under here. That could maybe be a doorway into the mine shaft or something. <coughs> so I'm looking at this thing and we're gonna um, do slash time set zero. Let's place some torches real quick. <coughs> I'm looking at this and I don't want the staircase to come down because when it comes down it's gonna come down like all the way down here and then you have barely any room for your throne so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it come down from the side we're gonna pick a side maybe do both sides and what we'll do is we'll have that wrap around and then come towards the throne room but I think we are out of time also hello BD bro <laughs> another guy on the server he's just saying hello um, while you're gone, I suggest you just um, bring down, see these pillars that we made? Bring them all down and connect them into the dirt and maybe fill in the spaces with this. Um, and, and, and if you're worried about you losing stone, use a different material. Um, we will get to this in a bit, just uh, two days, I think. And uh, I'll keep you busy with new tutorials. But um, this is the end of the video, and I I'd like to just thank you all for watching this to the end. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment telling me what you thought of the video, what things you might have changed, new ideas for new tutorials. <clears throat> Recently, I, yeah, I've been bombarded with um, real life stuff, so I haven't been able to take a lot of requests. Um, one person asked me if I had a horse stable. If you're watching, I already have a horse stable tutorial, so you can go watch that first. And if it's not up to standards, then you know, I'll make a new one. But um, yeah, I have a lot of stuff on my plate. So I'm sticking to some uh, builds that I have done already. So I'll try to incorporate your ideas into the styles that I have. Um, comment what's your favorite build so I know, you know, stuff like that. If you really like this one, let me know so we can continue. Episode 2. Let's see this get to episode 3. So once again, thank you all for watching. Stay fancy, my friends, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.